this is a review for the sure cans um, I have four of the five gallon ones I have two for, for diesel and two for gas but I uh, for the yellow ones uh, that are meant to be diesel uh, I, I use it for mix uh, oil and gas and uh, if I had to rate them that would be a 9.5 out of 10 and the only reason why I say that is because I feel like the the thickness of the plastic of the you know the whole body should be a little bit thicker because when it gets cold I live in Texas so it really doesn't get no pass like 20 something you know it, uh, it's mainly really hot here so when it gets cold like that just a little bit below freezing or even in the 40s like uh, they tend to like shrivel up like crumble you know and then I even if you open the big old uh, opening and let the air in somehow since they've been too long for the, like all night doing that uh, they won't go back into shape right away so if I ha if I had to put fuel right like on them and I can't wait then I would only put like 2.5 gallons instead of 5 because they'll still be all shriveled and then when it gets hot they will get like super like about like about to blow up and they don't have no like air release on the sides or anything so that's why i feel like this could be a 10 if they add the, like the air release or make the make make it thicker because the weight wouldn't be so much of a difference because it's still plastic i mean they weigh almost nothing as it is so i mean right now i have two full and two empty so i mean like like literally there's like i don't know how many maybe like one pound it, it it doesn't feel like you're picking up anything so if they are the thickness to double then it will be perfect uh the design is different than than everybody else's you know uh the the hose this part right here uh you can you can put it down and then whichever angle you need it uh you just like press this down and then uh, of course the fuel will go down and i really like that because i have small mowers i have the time masters i have two of them and then they have the part right in the back so i have to like literally pull the put that face down and i can keep the i, I can keep it just the way it is and just turn it all the way down and 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 uh press the the little lever thing and it would just it would just work and then with the other ones with the nose peel and all that i have to flip them completely and then you have to be careful because if you kind of put the weight on the mower while you're doing that uh they tend to like like uh, like spill fuel from from uh, from the nozzle looking thing because like you're putting too much weight on it and so I, I didn't like that they didn't work for me and yeah they're like less than half the price this were this were fifty dollars and the ones that they sell at Walmart the nose pill and the other kinds I've tried like five different nozzles five different ways and the you know and all that and different brands and none of them work because within a year or so they'll start leaking either from there or just you know and then they, they'll still have the same problem with the like i say if they expand too much they don't have an air release none of them so uh if if it could be done it would be perfect because this will be like uh the only one that you need uh but if it you know if it can't be done then the plastic should be thicker and and like i said this feel i mean will do a lot of a lot of purposes so i have it i have it for a small mower so like i said the mower is way down and you have to pull that completely down but if you have like a stand on or even a riding mower uh, uh then you can do uh, what i did is open up open this up and and then just uh without using a phone or anything i would just turn it turn it this way and i like you know and it would just come out super fast because the hole is this big so i didn't have to worry about waiting and all that and even for those mowers and even for for the truck when when you need fuel sometimes i'm just running low and i don't want to and i don't want to go to the 
to the gas station to the next morning and I'm running really low I usually have gas in one of them so I'll, I'll pour the five gallons into the truck right away within like 30 seconds uh, without needing a funnel or anything so like I said whatever whatever you might need from them they will deliver and like I said the price is a little bit more but I've used them two years and like I said those no they haven't broken they haven't uh, like spill I thought they were gonna spill through here uh, let me show uh, these are both kind of full but I thought they were gonna spill through here because you know of this mechanism from from uh, doing them like back and forth back and forth every day and no no issues there and like I said it's been already two years so uh, I'm wondering how long would they last me uh, the only thing that I have done like you know modify them to my liking is uh, that so during the heat so that whenever so that they wouldn't get like like about to explode I made a little air release I don't know if you can see it in, on camera but it's right here I made a little like with the blade I, I cut every single one of them just a tiny bit you know not not to be releasing air it, uh, but just when when it gets like too much then you know it will release a little bit of air and it worked out for me like i said i had no issues with it the fuel still good because it's really not releasing any air unless it starts to get like super super big like you know bloated and that's pretty much it uh like i said i've tried all the other brands uh different nozzles different everything and none of them work for me i don't have a code for this so this is genuine uh you know my thoughts and I, I definitely recommend them two thumbs up and uh, if you if you want to see my setup or any other my videos just uh, go on my channel subscribe and and, and uh, make sure you like this video thank you